morning, boys. Morning, morning Reverend. Reverend. Let's get a picture, Reverend. Hold it. No, oh, not you, Tiger. At all, boys? Till the fight starts. What fight? <laughs> I hope you're wrong. This is a private office. This, this is, is a private, private office. office. <laughs> Excuse me. Reverend Storm. Hello, Governor. <laughs> We've been waiting for you. Warden Schaefer, this is the Reverend Thomas Storm. I'm glad to know you, Warden. I uh, know you want to hear Warden Schaefer's views of your appointment. I hope they're favorable. Frankly, they're not. You've been making speeches claiming that I run the worst penitentiary in this country. Well, don't you? I do my job. I don't hold with your fancy, highfalutin ideas about coddling convicts. Well, maybe that's one reason why our 70-year-old prison hasn't had a single improvement since you've been warden. Bad sanitation, poor light, no ventilation. <laughs> we, uh, we make our greatest expenditures naturally for public improvements for law-abiding citizens. Governor, I believe all convicts were decent citizens at the start. A lot of them could be again if we give them the chance. I can't feel that a single man up there was born bad. Something happened, something went wrong, something cracked, and the first mistake was made. And now, instead of being given a new start, these men are punished, beaten, for days, yes, for months and years. They never see a kind face or hear a friendly word. They come out of prison hopeless, filled with hatred, wanting revenge on society. So you see, Governor, it's our own fault. We have made them men without souls. Beautiful words, Reverend Storm. Simple truth. Theories, nothing but theories. You've been spouting theories for years. But theories won't work, I know. Yes, Mason? State Penitentiary calling Warden Schaefer. It's for you, Warden. Schaefer speaking. Warden, Captain White. Hey, we got a riot up here. Yeah, a bad one. How far do you want me to go? Clear the yard first. Do what you can to get the men back in their cells. We're trying that now. They've got guns and they grabbed a couple of the guards. I'll start back right away. And I want no unnecessary shooting, understand? No unnecessary shooting. What does he want me to do? Use snowballs? Why didn't you have the governor call out the militia? I don't need the militia to run my prison. In your office with some of the guards. Captain White! Captain White! Who is it? It's me, Schaefer. Come in, Warden, but keep down low. Keep low. Started out in the yard. Like he drew in these gang, decided they didn't like it here anymore. They'll stay here plenty more, and they'll like it. This is Reverend Storm, our new chaplain. Captain? Hey, you picked a nice quiet day to start. Yes, didn't I? Too bad you had to get two of them. They're still alive. Can't we do something? Yeah, I'm gonna pull Delaney out of Tower 7. He must be getting nearsighted. Blackie and the others are barricaded in Block 3. Where are the block guards? Inside with them. Where did the men get those guns? Let me get my hands on Blackie. Maybe I can find out. Hello? Hello? Yes, this is the warden. Who's this? Crawley. Talk louder. They got me and Nelson. Go on, give him my message. They say they're going to kill us both if you don't open the gates. They threatened to butcher the guards if I don't open the gates and let them out. Tell them to go right ahead. What do you mean? When a man signs up for a prison guard, he signs up to take his chances. I do it. Those guys got to do the same thing. Well, what's the answer? Well, I'm waiting. Crowley, tell those men I'll give them just five minutes to toss their guns out the window and come out with their hands up. It says you got just five minutes to give up and walk out. Listen, I'm giving you just five minutes before I toss out the first dead guard. 
Oh, tear those guards to pieces. Warden, let me go over there, will you? What? I'm new here. None of those men know me. They can't have anything against me. Maybe they'll listen to me. Well, you pray for them. Have I your authority to promise those men if they give up and go back to their cells, they won't be punished? You're out of your mind, Captain. I can't let you go out there. It's none of your business. I work here now, Captain. You said those guards signed up to take their chances. Well, so did I. Warden, let me take those men your promise before they murder those guards. All right. Try it. I'll tell the guards to stop shooting. Give me number eight. Hey, Crowley, come here. Come here, I said. Who's that coming across the yard? Well, I guess it's the new chaplain. I think I'll try a little target practice. I'll tell you when. Okay, preacher, stop right there. Do you hear me? Don't come any closer. Turn around and start back or I'll blast you wide open. He got in. Yeah, he got in all right. Listen, man. Do you talking to me? I'm running this show. I like to know a man's name when I'm talking to him. My name is Storm, Tom Storm. It's a pleasure. But my name is Blackie. What do you want? I want to offer you men a chance to save your lives. I can take you out of here if you let me. What's the gag? Warden Schaefer told me to give you his solemn promise that if you put down your guns and come out now, you won't be punished. Come on, men, while you still have a chance. So you're talking to me, I said. I'm talking to every man here. You can't get out of here alive if you keep on with this. Killing the guards won't help you. You've got everything to gain and nothing to lose if you come with me now, while the warden's promise still holds good. What do you know about living in a rotten dump like this? Eating pig slop, living with rats in our bunks and cockroaches in our soup. I'm here to try and change all that. Get on that phone and tell him you want to talk to the warden. Go on and call the warden, I said. All right, Blackie. Give me the warden, please. And tell him if you don't open those gates, you're going to get it, too. Hello? Listen, warden. Talk fast. Blackie wants me to tell you that if you don't open the gates, they'll shoot me and then the guards. Warden, don't open the gates. Warden, this is Blackie. Thanks for sending over the sky pilot. We can use him. Shut up and listen to me. We're starting out of here right now. And the chaplain's gonna lead the parade. Yeah, with a gun in his back. All right, Blackie. You can go out. There won't be any shooting. What's the matter with you? They're gonna kill Storm if we don't let them out. Well, he asked for it. We can't let them kill him. How long do you think we'll be working here if they murder the chaplain? Come on. It's the warden speaking. I want the main gates opened at once. There's to be no more shooting. Let the men go out. with us, you think. Line up! Line up! Get going! Come on! Come on! Speed it up! Speed it up!
What about those men you threw in solitary, in spite of your promise not to punish them? I didn't break any promise. They refused my terms. They tried to go out. They told me what to do. Doesn't it make any difference that your guard started shooting, breaking another promise of yours? White gave that order. Who's running this prison, you or White? Now, see here, Storm, I resent that. If you think I'm going to kowtow to you or the prison... I don't place, expect you to. But I do think you'd have less trouble if those men could believe in you once in a while. Those double-crossing crooks don't make me laugh. I want to visit those men in solitary. All right. Don't expect to find a day nursery down there. I don't. Give that to the guard outside and I'll give you a man to go down with you. You're talking, you won't be able to talk. You and the whole army can't make me talk. Are you gonna tell me where you got those guns? No! You'll either tell me how you got them in here. What are you doing to that man? We're questioning him. Were they beating you? No, they don't beat prisoners anymore, don't you know that? What's the idea of bringing him down here? The warden says it's okay. Go on, dump him back in his cell. Wait a minute. Still sticking your nose in, eh, preacher? How'd you get those marks on your back? No, I fall down, that's it, I fall down. Now go fly your kite, will you? Blackie, I can help you. Yeah, like you held me down in the yard. You keep out of my way, you dirty stool pigeon, or I'll tear your head off. Someday I'm gonna pay you back. Only for you, we wouldn't be down here. You slimy, two-faced rat! They're pretty scared of you, aren't they? If you keep on making things up, the first thing you know, you're gonna believe some of them yourself. Like Blackie falling down? Nobody laid a hand on Blackie. That's right, Captain, I forgot. You don't use your hands. Now listen, men. I'm for you. I'm only trying to help you. You're a liar. You get your throw your face. Get out of here. 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 You save their souls, Chapman. We'll look after their bodies. Where are the men who are wounded? In the hospital. You have a hospital here? I'm surprised. We don't use it much. Come me up, you guys. Here comes Nosey. We don't want no meddling finks around here. If it wasn't for my meddling, you'd all be in pine boxes right now. Oh. Oh. Where's the doctor? Oh, he's only here Tuesdays and Fridays. Well, who takes care of these men? Me, Parson, until the doctor gets here next Tuesday. Then he fixes up them that needs fixing, and in between time, they just lie and wait, or they die. Oh, you won't mind it, Parson, when you've been here as long as me. See, they die peaceful-like, with a kind of smile, because they know they're getting over them walls for good. They're tired, Parson, and they're going home. That's all. Get me some warm water and bandages. Hurry. Oh, but Captain White says that... Never I'm mind. Get me some soap and water. Bandages, mercurochrome. Hurry up. Get moving. Yes, sir. Keep away from me, Stooley. Keep away. I don't want nothing from you. Nothing. You're not getting anything from me. This is something the state owes you. Well, you certainly get around a lot. Probably when I inspect the kitchen, I'll find you out there doing the cooking. You may, if it's not better equipped than this place. We've invited a lot of cute nurses to come in and hold the con's hands and tell them bedtime stories. You think the boys would like that? That's not very funny, Captain. Look, nobody invited these cons here. Nobody ask them to get hurt. If they're in here, that's just too bad. Come on, Chuck, do some talking. I want to know how those guns were smuggled in here and who did it. Come on, rat, talk! How'd those guns get in here? You hear me? Talk! You can't get words out of a dead man, Captain. Hey, Chuck, 
Nazis. Get this out of here and hurry it up. Lefty, you know how those guns got in here? I know nothing. You can't question this man now. I question who I please, when I please. I say you can't question this man now. He's too sick. Might be dangerous. <laughs> okay. But fix him up good. Because I'll be back. Here you are, Parson. Just put it down over here. Now, Lefty, try and forget you hate me. Just for five minutes, anyhow. You know, a little paint and elbow grease would help a lot around here. If we had the paint. Oh, I reckon I can dig that up. But if we make this joint too attractive, why, these cons will be shivering each other just to spend all the time in here. <laughs> See, there's a new crop of fish arriving tomorrow. How do you know? Old Mac knows everything. What's your name? Adams. Say sir when you talk to me. Sir. Warden Schaefer will be here in a minute to give you boys a few words of welcome. Before he gets here, I've got something to say. Now, whether you're guilty or not, it's none of my business. So don't start yapping. Warden Schaefer's got charge of this prison, but I've got charge of you men. My name's White. Captain White. You'll say sir to me and you won't talk back. Now, you'll probably hate this place before you're here a week. But don't expect me to put on any pink tees for you. All right, Captain. I was just giving the boys their instructions. All right, men. I want to add just one thing to what Captain White's told you. One important thing. I'm not your enemy. And I can be your friend. It's entirely up to you. But this is no hotel and you're not guests here. You're here to serve your sentences, obey orders, and learn to live under a strict discipline. If you keep out of trouble, I won't make trouble for you. That's all. All right, boys, take him out. Oh, just a minute. This is our chaplain, Reverend Storm. Hello, men. Glad to know you. Go ahead, Captain. All right, on your way. All right, you. Get going. Get going. Come on, step on it. Come on. Adam, you want to get along here, don't you? Yes, sir. Then string along with me. You'll find it pays. Cross me and you'll wish you were never born. I don't know what you mean. That's a good start. No nothing. I think you've got enough sense to be a wise con. It's only the dumb ones that stick their necks out. I'll try and be wise, sir. I'm putting you in a cell with Blackie Drew. You know why? No, I don't. Because I want to know everything that Blackie does and says, and you're going to tell me. Yeah? What do you suppose Blackie will do to me if he finds out? That's your job, not letting him find out. I understand. Sure you do. I'm putting you in the laundry. Blackie's in there, too. an expert with that cane he carries. Is that so? Well, isn't he? Look, Fish, I don't talk. Now, now, wait a minute. You can talk to me, can't you? Rooming with me don't give you no right to read my mail. Now, quit asking so many questions. And another thing, talking to that fink preacher don't help you with anybody in here. You better cut it out. I'm telling you. Saved you five years in here. 
I can visit your family for you if you want me to. Well, I haven't got a family. Nobody you care about? No, not a soul. You're not lying, are you, Johnny? No, why should I? Sometimes there are reasons. Hey, what? <laughs> Get back to work. I don't know. Oh, forget it, forget it. I saw Susan Leonard today, Johnny. I never heard of her. You better come up to my office during rest period. Maybe I can help you remember. I told you I don't know her. I don't want her. Hey, why don't you let me alone? Hey! Get your work. My men tell me you're making trouble again. Just came down to see Johnny about something. Listen, I don't want you coming around here stirring up trouble while the men are at work. If they want to send for you, you can visit them in the cells after hours. Otherwise, you better stay in your office. Just stick to your job, Reverend, and let it go at that. I'm doing my job, Captain, as well as I can. You better come up to my office noontime on Monday, Johnny. It's important. Okay, kid, tell me about it. About what? What does the preacher want from you? Nothing but conversation. It ain't healthy getting palsy with that guy, Johnny. It ain't healthy. Oh, I've got nothing against the guy. Well, I have. He's a dirty stool. He's a no-good, low-down fake. Well, all prisons have to have chaplains. Yeah, we don't have to have him, and I say he's a fake. Do you want to argue about it? What's it to argue about? Ah, you know, kid, I like you. But you're a dumb fish. You got a lot to learn. Yeah. Maybe you're right. You don't think I've been in here seven years for nothing, do you? You've seen a lot of them come and go, haven't you, Blackie? Well, I've seen them all. Say, did you ever happen to know a fellow in here by the name of Andrew Lloyd? Andrew Lloyd, let me think. An old guy? Yeah. An old man. Hey, he croaked about a year ago. What about him? Well, I understand that White was pretty rough with him. Hmm? I mean, well, he... Kept him in solitary a little bit too much. Yeah? Yeah. White's pretty handy with that cane he carries around, isn't he? Maybe he is and maybe he ain't. Well, I was just thinking maybe you know what killed Andrew Lloyd. Listen, kid. I don't know nothing about nothing. Okay. Okay, Blackie. They was trying to pump me, wasn't you? Why should I? I don't know, but you talk too much. And when a guy runs off at the mouth too much around here, we've got more ways than one of shutting him up. For good. Remember that. Okay. I'll remember. Morning, Jurgis. Good morning. And who is that for? This? Well, it's Sunday, and I thought the men might like to hear a little music. Oh, Sunday music? Yeah, sure. They'll eat that up. Another riot? No, Captain. 
I just wanted to supply a little entertainment. These cons ain't in here to be entertained. I don't think a little music would hurt any of them. No? Well, we're not going to have any more of it. Take that thing out of here. Hey, hear that guy giving orders? Yeah, who does he think he is? Hey, we got a right to have music if we want it. Turn it on. Turn it back on. We want music. We, we want, want music. music. We want First time you ever heard anyone sing in here at that, though, isn't it? It sure is. Well, that's something. Right. Hello, Lefty. How are you feeling? My number's 46935, and how I feel is my business. Why don't he stay inside? Looking for trouble, so habit he's got. Hats off, brothers. Here comes a guy to save our souls. What do you want? Thought you were coming up to my office today. I didn't say I would. I think you'd better. Anybody ever tell you we got rights, even if we are cons? This is our rest period, and we don't want any psalm singing rats hanging around. Go peddle your prayers before you get hurt. Blackie, how long is it going to take you to realize you don't scare me? Why, you. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I got something to say to these men. I think there's one thing we better get settled. Now, I'm not afraid of any of you, of your black looks, your wisecracks, or the knives you may be sharpening up for me. I came here to do a job, and I'm going to do it. You can't make me quit. It's for your good, not mine. If I can't do my job with your help, I'll do it in spite of you. Because I know I'm right, and you know you're wrong. <laughs> What's the matter? Somebody slug you? Nobody slugged me, Captain. Come on, Johnny. Come on, back to the shops. Come on. Come, Come on, on, move! Come on. Get along. Sit down, Johnny. Make yourself comfortable. I won't keep you long. I had a caller the other day, Johnny. A girl who told me a strange story about a man named Andrew Lloyd who died in this prison. I never heard of him. Well, let me tell you a little about him. He was the president of a big bank at one time. Something went wrong. Technically, he was guilty of embezzlement. About three years ago, he was sent here to serve 10 years. Last year, he died. Yeah. All right, well, why tell me about it? Because there were ugly stories about how and why Andrew Lloyd died here. 
And his son must have heard those stories. Oh, yes, he had a son, an only son. And they really loved each other. Now, the way I heard the story, this boy stole a car, knowing that he'd be caught. He wanted to be caught. He wanted to be sent here, the same prison as he was, so that he could get the man he thinks killed his father. This boy only forgot one thing, Johnny. He forgot a girl who loves him. Oh, yes, and he forgot that he loved her, too. She's been looking for him ever since he disappeared. You see, he changed his name, and that made it a little difficult for her, but she finally found him here in this same prison. I'm speaking about Susan Leonard. I told you I never heard of her. I don't want to. Wait, Johnny. Susan. Johnny. What are you going to do about it, Johnny? You know what I mean. I'm going to finish what I started. Oh, no. Oh, you can't stop me. Nobody can. Your father was proud of his name once, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah, sure, till they locked him up in here and beat him to death, murdered him. Don't you think you'd be a better man, a better son, if you took some of the dirt off your father's name instead of putting more on? Johnny, I love you. I'll always love you. I'll wait for you if you want me to. When you come out, we can start over again, together. We can make people forget the past. I'll be so proud of you. Johnny, I want to be proud of you. Oh, you don't understand. You, you... Oh, you can't. I guess I've been crazy for a long time. Now, you won't have to worry anymore. Thanks. Blackie? Yeah? If you've got any ideas about why I was up to see Reverend Storm again today, you can forget them. Oh, sure. Yeah, it was private, personal. Nothing to do with you or anybody else in here. That's what you say. Well, that's the truth. Well, what's the matter? Oh, nothing. Not a thing. Only don't try it. Don't try what? Putting anything over on me. All right. What's the matter now? You know what would happen if I found out you were stooling for that fink preacher? Well, I can guess. I've got a surprise for you, Blackie. Captain White put me in here with you with orders to stool on you for him. Why, you dirty little rats. Relax, will you? Would I tell you about it if it meant anything? I got my orders the day I came in, but they ended right there. You know why? Why? Because I hate Captain White a lot worse than you do, and with a lot more reason. What reason? You remember when I asked you about Andrew Lloyd? Yeah. He was my father. Yeah. I suppose you figure out whether or not I'd turn stew pigeon for Captain White. Okay, kid, I get her. Okay, well, quit worrying, will you? Sure. And I got a little surprise for you. And uh, don't tell me you're going to get a parole, Blackie. No, but I'm going out. Oh, look, are you going to try that again? Sit down. <clears throat> now, listen. I'm going out of here, and you're going with me. Well, not me. You're my pal. Oh, thanks, Blackie, but I don't want to go out of here in a pine box. I want to walk out clean. I got everything all worked out. We can't miss. Oh, look, Blackie, you haven't got a chance. They watch every minute. I got them fooled. We got a dozen guns coming in this week. How? Oh. I got angles. Yeah, but where? They're coming in through the laundry. Now, ain't that something? Special delivery right to our front porch. You can count me out, Blackie. I'm not in there. Ah, you're in now. I told you too much to count you out. When we get out, you and me can do good. 
I can use a guy I can trust. Not me. I said you're coming along. If they get wise to those guns coming in, I'll know who told them. What guns? You know too much. I don't know a thing. Supposed to be in here this time of day. Maybe got a tip off. excitement around here today. Is there? You know all about it. I don't know what you're talking about. I told you I'd put that kid in on it. It's a stool. It always was. How would you like to do a week in solitary? What for? Maybe just to remind you that I made a deal with you a while ago. You never made any deal with me. I told you I wanted information, didn't I? Yeah, what did you want me to do? Make it up? What do you know about some rods that were smuggled in here today? Come on, open it up before I go to work on you. I don't know a thing. You're a liar. You'd like it if I gave an excuse to use that cane on me, wouldn't you? Well, I'm not gonna, but I'm telling you, quit riding me. Thanks, Johnny. Thanks for telling me. I won't forget it. White was found lying at your feet with your file stuck in his back. Well, I didn't do it. Your fingerprints were the only prints found on the file. Oh, I can't help that. Yeah, sure, that's my file, but I didn't do then it. Then who did? I tell you, I don't know. If you didn't do it, who did? You let yourself in for a lot of grief if you don't tell me. 
Oh, can I make you understand? I don't know who it was that killed him. You can't make me understand that Captain White was stabbed right in front of you and you don't know who did it. I was doing my work. I was facing the other way. All I know is when I look around, White was staring at me with his mouth open. And then he drops on the floor and I see that thing sticking in his back. You're lying! I'm not lying. I, I'm, I'm not saying I'm sorry White's dead, but I didn't do it. Put him in solitary. I didn't kill him, and I don't know who did. They're going to find out that you came here planning to kill him. They can only find that out from you. But I can't lie to them, Johnny, if they ask me. Well, I don't want you to, but you know I promised to give that idea up. I promised Susan, and I kept my word. Will you believe me, don't you? Yes, Johnny, I believe you. But we've got to make the district attorney believe you if we can. Now, whatever you do, don't keep saying you're glad White is dead. He deserved to die. They'll use it against you at the trial. Make it sound bad. Did, did Susan know about it? Yes. I talked to her on long distance. I've got to go now. I'll come back when I can. I know it's hard, but try not to lose heart. We'll get you out of this somehow. Goodbye, Johnny. feel he has the right to grant you a stay of execution, Johnny. The state insists you had a fair trial. Oh, I never had a chance, and you know it. I did everything I could. So did Susan. We argued with the governor for hours. So now I've got 24 hours to live. No, no. We're not through yet. I am. I've got 24 hours. You sold me a bill of goods. You told me to be good, everything would be fine. Well, I tried it your way. What good did it do me? I'm here tomorrow night. I'll be dead. Johnny. Oh, why didn't I kill him? I'm going to burn for it anyhow. I know how you feel, Johnny. No, how can you know? You can walk out of here. Well, I can't. I can't. Not till they take me. Take me out there. I was going to walk out of here clean. I was going to marry Susan and be happy. Yeah, I kind of had it all figured out. I tell you, we're not through yet. Oh, what else can you do? Pray? Yes, Johnny. I am praying. So is Susan. Susan. You remember that day in your office when she said she didn't want the world to say she loved a murderer? Well, that's what they're saying now, isn't it? Hmm? And I didn't do it. We'll prove you didn't. How? If the governor won't listen to you, who will? I don't know. But someone will. Someone must. Guard. Well, look, you'll be back, won't you? Yes, John. Tell Susan that... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You wait out here, will you? Okay, I'll be right here. Ah. What do you think you're doing? I'm going to read you a letter. What do I want with letters? It's a letter Johnny wrote to the girl he was going to marry. It's about you. Well, I ain't interested. But you listen just the same. You listen to every word of it. What are you trying to do? This was written the day before Captain White was murdered. Nah. Now listen. I'm getting along better with Blackie now. He's still full of hatred and suspicion of everybody, even me. But I think I understand him now. One thing I know, Blackie is square. <laughs> he wouldn't go back on a friend. He'd die before he'd squeal on a pal. He couldn't turn rat, couldn't possibly. You can't help admiring that at him. Is that all? No, but it's funny, isn't it? Johnny actually liked you. Yeah, he ratted on me. He stooled for white. What makes you think that? What do you care? I know. Now get out. No, not yet. Listen, Blackie still seems to think I might play stool pigeon against him, but I wouldn't. 
I couldn't. He's square with me, and I'm going to be square with him. Blackie had a bad break when he was just a kid. If that hadn't happened, he wouldn't be so bitter and so wrong. And he'd be the finest man I ever knew. Even as he is, he's the one man I'll always trust. That's what Johnny thinks of you. And I'm going to let him die believing it. I'm not going to tell him what a dirty coward you really are. What do you mean? I mean that somehow I know. I know that you killed White. Johnny didn't. You framed the boy who calls you his friend. And you're going to let him die in your place. Prove it. I can't prove it. There's only one man in the world who can prove the truth, and that's you. But you won't, because you're a dirty rat. Get out of here! Get out! Along about midnight tomorrow night, you read this letter. While Johnny is burning in the chair, you read that and find out what Johnny thought about you. And may God have mercy on your soul. All right, guard. He says we go today. Join me next week. We changed our mind. Water room, 12.30. Pass it along. Let's go. Come on, take it easy. Down after the kid, this pal. He ain't got a chance. All right, then we go without him. Come on.
We got Blackie. Well, we've got to stay here till the boilers blow. Blackie. Shut that door. Don't yell, preacher. Don't make a sound. I'm leaving here and I'm taking Johnny with me. Don't try to stop me. Drop that gun. No, I got used for it. It's too bad you had to butt in again, ain't it? But this is the last time. Stand still. You won't shoot. One shot and you'll bring every guard in the place here. I'll take that chance. Don't do this, Blackie. Come on with me. Tell the truth and prove you're a man. If I'm not taking orders from you, call me a ratty. Well, I ain't one, see? I'm taking the kid out. I'm saving his life. That's more than you can do. There's only one thing that'll save Johnny's life. That's your confession that you killed White. You're still a rat. You're asking for it. You're not saving Johnny. You're only completing his ruin. I'm doing this my way. No, you kept asking for it. We'll set up machine guns to cover it. Put every available man outside. Here he come! Let him have it! Come on, let's go! No, wait a crazy little rock out of it! What a door! Me up out of there. Come on, we gotta get out of here. Why did you bring me up? Because well, you've got a job you haven't finished yet. Okay. Okay, preacher, I'll play it your way. But I got a job to do first. Come on, lean on me. No. 
I'll handle this myself. things. Something to tell you. Yes? Johnny didn't kill White. I killed him. What? Yeah. It was me. I thought Johnny was stooling on me. I framed him. But you can't. You can't burn me for it. I'll beat you to it. Johnny will be okay now, huh? Yes, Blackie. And I ain't a rat, huh? No, Blackie. I was wrong. Okay. Can't we get a doctor for him? Still button in, Prisha. Well, you know, nice short prayer. I ain't got much time. Oh, merciful one. I, I know one. When I was a kid. Now I lay me down to sleep. You didn't think I knew one, did you? as soon as I get back to my office. Go on out in the yard now. I'll see you in a minute. Chaplain, when you took this job, we shook hands. But it didn't mean much. You want to do it over again? <laughs> <laughs> 